Welcome to One Pot Meals with Kate. That's me. Today's episode, we are going to make Chinese hot and sour soup. The key to a really good hot and sour soup is in the soup base. I've got six organic chicken drumsticks with the bone in inside the crock pot. Now I'm going to add a bottle of drinking water. To that, I'm going to add one large garlic clove that I chopped up in half two large slices of ginger. I am going to add two cayenne peppers for heat. If you don't like too much heat or if you want to add it later, you can do that. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of dehydrated onion, a few whole peppercorns. I have a mixture of red and black peppercorns. If you don't have any, feel free to use freshly ground peppercorns. And last but not least, some salt. And that's it for the soup base. It's very simple, very fast to put together. I'm going to let this cook on high for two hours and then I'll turn it down to low and let it go for another two hours. If you have pre-made chicken stock, you can use that. My personal preference is to make it from scratch and you can make it with all types of chicken parts. Just make sure it's bone in and then debone the chicken before you add the rest of the ingredients to your hot sour soup. We just met some friends out in Racine for lunch and got home a little later than we anticipated. So the stock has been cooking for nearly five hours. The chicken should be nice and tender. I'm gonna take the drumsticks out, debone the meat, put the meat back in, and then finish off our hot and sour soup. Mmm, that chicken stock smells amazing. You get ginger, garlic, some peppercorn, and that rich mouth-watering chicken flavor. Before I debone the chicken, I noticed there's quite a bit of fat on the top, so I'm gonna skim some of that off before I continue. So I took out the cayenne peppers and the large ginger slices. Now I'm gonna take each drumstick out at a time and take the meat off the bone. Oh, and you can see the meat's falling right off the bone. All the meat has been deboned and put back into the crock pot. The crock pot is on low. Before I dump the rest of the hot sour soup ingredients in, I want to give the broth a taste to make sure we don't need to make any adjustments. Mmm. Nice hint of peppercorn, ginger, garlic, and that rich, deep chicken broth. Now that we have a beautiful, rich, delicious broth to go off of, the hot and sour soup can really go in any direction that you want. Um, I happen to have fresh shiitake mushrooms, soft tofu, and I'll end up finishing this with some beaten eggs. But feel free to put whatever you want. You can substitute the mushroom for whatever you prefer. Traditionally, the hot and sour soup I grew up with always used woodier mushrooms. I haven't been able to find any fresh woodier mushrooms in Wisconsin. Um, if I did, that's definitely what I would have used. If you don't like tofu, feel free to skip it. If you prefer firm or cured tofu, feel free to use that as well. And a lot of people put water chestnuts, bamboo shoots. I haven't been able to find fresh water chestnut or fresh bamboo in Wisconsin. So I'm going to skip those two ingredients. I have about 15 shiitake mushrooms. I like to use the stem of mushrooms. So what I end up doing is I pull the stem off, I cut the cap, and then I chop up the stem finely and put it in the soup. Next, I'll add the soft tofu and just give this a rough chop. It's all about personal preference. So play around with it. If you don't want as much tofu, feel free not to put as much. It's time to add the vinegar. This is the sour part of the hot and sour soup. Um, traditionally, this is made with a Chinese vinegar. I prefer Bragg's raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now, not having the Chinese vinegar does alter the flavor a little bit, but I've come to acquire the taste of apple cider vinegar in my hot and sour soup. So give it a try, but if you have access to a Chinese vinegar or any kind of dark Asian vinegar, give that a try. Now remember, you can always put more vinegar in, so don't go too heavy on the vinegar in the beginning. Add some, let the soup cook, and once it's had some time to develop the flavor, check in and see if you want to adjust the taste at all. So I just poured a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now I'm going to do a light drizzle of gluten-free soy sauce. Mmm, it's starting to smell really good in here. All right. I'll just give this a quick stir, incorporate all of the flavors. So I'm going to leave this on low, put the lid back on, and let it cook for another hour. 
And now that the soup has been simmering for another hour, I'm gonna take the lid off, take a taste, see if I need to adjust the flavors at all before I add the last ingredient, which is eggs. You really smell the shiitake mushrooms, the vinegar, that ginger. Now, I probably put more mushrooms than most people would prefer. So if you're gonna go with shiitake mushrooms, you can easily put half of that or skip the mushrooms altogether. So let's take a taste and see if we need to make any adjustments. Mmm nice tanginess from the vinegar it's not quite as spicy as i want it to be now when you're making hot sour soup for a family you can always put the condiments on the table such as the soy vinegar and hot sauce but since joe and i have similar taste in hot and sour soup i'm gonna go ahead and add the ingredients directly into the crock pot before i add the eggs so first thing i'm going to add is some homemade chili sauce if you have sambal, you can use sambal. Leo, what's going on, bud? So I'm putting about a teaspoon of homemade hot sauce. To that, I'm also going to sprinkle some white pepper. That's a key ingredient in hot and sour soup. Just mix this up. By the way, I did add about a cup of water just to add a little bit more broth to the soup because it was pretty thick. All right, let's give this another taste. That's perfect. Just the right amount of spicy, sour. All we have to do is add the egg. I have two eggs that I beat. I'm just going to swirl this right into the soup and mix it up. I'll just let that cook for a few minutes and the soup will be ready to serve. Since the chicken cooks so long, it's pretty much shredded into the soup, which I sort of like. Mmm, comfort food. Mmm. Almost tastes like the version my mom used to make growing up. This is the perfect comfort food for when I'm not feeling well. And I know Joe loves this when he's not feeling too hot. I really hope you enjoy my version of Chinese hot and sour soup. If you make it, please let me know what you think. And if you added anything special, I'd love to hear about that too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.